What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. This is Jason, and in this video, I wanted to go over UI kit, and I wanted to go over programmatic navigation and setting up your tab bars and doing that all programmatically using UI kit. So what are we going to be building? We're basically going to build two tab bars. One is going to have three tabs, the other two, and we're going to handle navigation within each tab bar, and we're going to handle switching between tab bars because maybe you want to display different tab bars depending on whether the user is signed in or not. And this is something that was implemented in the course I recently released on UI kit. Definitely check that out if you enjoy this video. So let's get into it. We're going to create a new project hit next. We'll call this one programmatic navigation and make sure you do UI kit or storyboards are <laughs> uncheck core data hit next, create the app. And the first thing we want to do when you're working programmatically is destroy the main dot storyboard. And you want to go to here to the search hit main and I'm going to make my window bigger. Fix that. All right, main. And you want to destroy any reference of main. So you hit main, you uh, just click on that, hit backspace or delete. Then we go here, go to this filter on the top, right? Search for main, get rid of that. And I believe if we search for main now, it shouldn't be anywhere, but in the app delegate. All right, that looks good. Now, where do you want to set your root view controller? You can always do this in the app delegate or the scene delegate. It's really personal preference in older projects. You'll most likely see in, in the app delegate since the scene delegate is something that's fairly new. And in more recent projects, you'll probably be in the scene delegate since that's where things are headed. Although you really don't need a scene delegate unless you're working with an iPad, I believe. Uh, we'll use a scene delegate for this example, since with the scene delegate it already has the window here. If you use the app delegate, you have to create that window variable here. And we're going to change this garlet to have a window scene. And then you want to create a window UI window from that window scene. And you want to make key invisible. And then the window, this is where you set the root view controller. And let's set it to our view controller here. And just to make sure we aren't breaking anything. Let's do like system red or something. Go back to the scene delegate, set it at equal to view controller. And then you set self window equal window face. Now, if we run this, if your app crashes, oh, it's running to my device. Fix that. Let's switch to iPhone Pro Max. All right, let's run this. If your app crashes on launch, that means that your main, you might have a main somewhere. So just go to the search and then search for main. All right, it's loading up and it turned, <laughs> it turned to red. All right, so that is working and now it crashed because I closed it. Before we go into our tab bar, we already have enough to make like our first basic um, navigation controller because here in this root view controller, you can call UI navigation controller, root view controller, set it equal to view controller. And now in our view controller, we could create a, um, we'll call this next view controller. And I should have made this a Coco touch class, but we'll create the class next view controller. And it's a UI view controller. We'll have to bring in a UI kit. So highlight foundation. And then you want to bring in view did load, super view did load view dot background color dot. Let's do cayenne. And now we could call this uh, the navigation controller to present this view controller based on some action. So let's create a button and we're going to do this programmatically. So let's say let I believe we might need a lazy. Yeah, we'll do lazy var button and we're going to use an anonymous closure. The reason I'm using it this way is because in a large project, an anonymous closure really helps. So let button equal UI button. And for this button, we can um, set a title, tap me, normal button dot. I think we could do a set title color. Let's make it white for, and then we need to create an action at target self selector did tap button. And this will be for touch up inside. Now you need to create an OBJC function. This is what's used to handle uh, actions on our button. And you'll see it a lot in UI kit. Now we need to create a function called did tap button. So we get rid of that error. And when the button is tap, we'll say navigation controller dot push. 
push the next view controller animated equal true it command b and we have to return the button and the last thing we need to do is configure our ui aka lay out our button and add it to the sub view so add the, the sub view I went away and i don't know if i mentioned this but we're using lazy var here because we're using self and in order to have access to self we want to create this button lazily otherwise the button will be created at the same time as the view controller is created and you might not have access to self and then you do button dot translate auto resizing false ns layout constraints activate and for the, all of the buttons that we're going to create i'm just going to use the center x go to view dot center x and we can do the same for the y this will put the button just right in the middle of um of the application or of our phone and the last thing we need to create is a width and a height so height anchor equal to constant height 80 and button dot width equal to the width to like 300 now let's run this ah we click on tap me and boom we get navigated over to the next view controller and that's great right that's the that's a start that's a really good start so now we covered a very basic navigation now let's go through the tab bars all right so we're gonna create our tab bars now coco touch class just look up ui tab bar controller and we're gonna call this one user tab bar controller and we're calling it user tab bar controller because we're gonna have two tab bars one if a user is logged in and one if a user is not logged in we're not handling any logging in in this video but this is just an example of how you would uh set up your tab bars in in, in an application and then we're going to create a we'll create a private func configure tabs and we want to call this function we go here call configure tabs and in this configure tabs function this is where we're going to create our reference to each view controller that we want in our tab bar and the first view controller we'll call it vc1 will be this view controller but i actually want to rename it so let's go to view controller highlight it Go to refact, right click and then go to refactor. Wait for it to index and let's change this to home view controller. And we're gonna treat this as the home view controller. All right, and let's create a bunch of new files now. <laughs> so go to Coco Touch class, change this to UI view controller. And for our first tab bar, we're gonna have a home, a search and a profile view controller. So let's create the search, new file, Coco Touch class, the profile. And since we're creating them, Actually, no, that's fine. That's all we need. <laughs> we'll need to create one more, but we'll do that when we create the second tab bar. Let VC2 equal search view controller. Let VC3 equal, we'll put our profile view controller in here. And now that we have a reference to our view controllers, we can actually make changes to these. So we can actually set an image. So set tab images. So for VC1, you go to tab bar item and dot image. And then you want to create it to a UI image. And we're going to use SF uh, SF symbols, which uh, are images that Apple provides for us. You can download SF symbols or right here on the top right, you can search up. In this section, you can search up images. We're going to use house for the first one. And we can copy and paste this. And this would be VC2. This would be 3. Be careful if you're copying and pasting because <laughs> it, it gives you a chance to to get a bug and let's go here and let me search magnifying magnifying glass i don't want to misspell it and the last one will be the profile so that'd be person and now you can set a title for the for each of these view controllers so we can say set title and with the title you have two options you can set vc1 just the title right here home or you could do vc2 tab bar item dot title this will be search three dot profile title so what's the difference here so with title this will set this title to the tab bar item which will be right above or below the image and it will also set this title at the top of the view controller and on the other hand this will only set it to the tab bar item so it'll only be set to the the bottom part uh, where each of these tabs are and it won't be shown at the top we'll see when we run this in a second and the last part is if you want all of these to be wrapped in a navigation controller it's its own separate navigation controller ui navigation controller view controller 
do VC1, VC2, VC3. And now we kind of have everything we need. And just a few things we could do is we can actually put a tint color on our tab bar. And one that I like is label. And you can also add a background color. Background color to the tab bar. I have to go with system gray six. And this is all that we'll need to set up our tab bars that we can call set controllers. And this will take an array and just pass in nav one, nav two, nav hit command B. And one thing I'll do is in here, let's put the background color of dot magenta. Put a background color. Let's do system pink. And now what we have to do is we have to go to our scene delegate where we're setting the root view control, the root view controller. And we can change our root view controller now to the tab bar. I will say user tab bar controller. And you could embed this as well in a navigation controller, but you don't have to since we embedded each view controller in its own navigation controller. And we run this. And let's see what we get. Boom, we get our tab bars. We get the search was magenta and this is pink. And you see here, home is at the top. So that was what I was referring to. If we go back to our user tab bar controller and we bring this here. You see when we set the title equal to home, home is placed right here and down here in our search view controller, it's not placed there. But if you go to our profile, it is there. And that's just up to preference how you want to display your UI. And then in each, and then in this view controller, Navigation controller, navbar, prefers large text. If you set this equal to true, it'll show up like this. And you can change that in each of these view controllers if you want it to be large. In view controllers where you have a title here like this. And that's that's pretty much it. And you see we have navigation. And if we go to our, the this is the home, right? So let's copy this. And let's go to our profile view controller and let's create a button called sign out. I'm just going to copy the UI we created in our home view controller. So bring this in and just run this. And we'll, again, we should have slim, seamless navigation. So we, here we tap search profile. I don't think we called this function. <laughs> yep. Configure UI. That's what happens sometimes. All right. Sign out. Boom. You get taken there. And that's, that's pretty much it for this tab bar. And now let's handle the transition. So before we handle it, I want to actually create a, a new tab bar that we're going to transition to. So we're going to call this UI tab bar controller, and this will be login tab bar, or actually let's call it guests, guests tab bar controller, since the other ones is for a user and we can copy this configure tabs function. Let's not forget to, um, to call it this time. And in our configure tab bars, we can delete or delete VC three. So delete the reference to VC three and we need to create a new view controller. We'll call this login view controller. And let's just set this view background color equal to red or no. Now we go back to guess and we can set this equal. We replace search with login view controller. This can be person. And instead of search, we can call login. Let's see if this is uh if this is gonna like if it's loading correctly. So we're gonna go to our scene delegate, go to guest, change the guest tab bar controller, and then run the simulator. Then we run the simulator. Uh, we <laughs> we did the cardinal sin and we forgot to call it. I think I mentioned. It. <laughs> All right, command. This is why you don't copy and paste. Uh, so we have the login. This works. Boom, and it's like this. Let's copy this UI one more time and paste this in here. Change this to system green and we're going to call this one sign in. And now if we, if we run this, we'll get something very similar to this where you just navigate to this screen and we don't want to, we don't need to see that again. Now we want to handle the transition between a user tab bar and a guest tab bar, which basically depends if there's a user logged in or not in your scene delegate, we're going to, you need to create a function called func change root view controller and this will take a view controller you want to change to and a tab bar controller conforms to ui view controller so we'll be okay here and we need a garlet window equal window else return that gives us access to this window here and we need to set the window root view controller equal to vc so now we're going to add a transition you call ui view dot transition do this one and hit option to highlight all of them. 
the window will be or the view will be window duration 0 0.5 and here we get access to some animations i really like the transition from i like this one the flip from left so we're going to click that one this animations can be nil and this can be nil hit command b our build succeeds and now go to your login view and now we're going to get rid of this and so when so now we got rid of that and when we want to transition let's create a you create a reference of the view controller you want to transition to first so we're going to transition to user tab bar the user tab bar controller now we need to call a reference to that function that's in our scene delegate so we're going to say ui application dot share dot connected scenes dot first dot delegate as scene delegate and then you say dot and if you call change root view controller our function is now appearing and we can pass in the user tab bar and if we run this it should flip and show our tab bar well we first we have to press it, the the button <laughs> so this still works now we go back home we go to login and moment of truth Moment of truth, y'all. Boom. Hey, it works. We're going to copy this code and we're going to go now to our profile view controller and sign out. We'll paste this in here. Instead of user, you want to do guess. And this can be guess. And we're going to replace it and run this. Now we should be able to, this still works. Boom. Get in. And if you sign out, boom, it's working. And if you sign in, boom. <laughs> All right, y'all, and that's that's the video. Programmatic navigation and setting up our view controllers, tab bars, all those. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. One thing I want to note is in an application, this in, in our scene delegate here, this is where you could handle. So you can make a call here where if there is a user to your auth manager, you present the, um, the user tab bar, and you can pass that user in to the user tab bar. Else, you present the guest tab bar. And we're not handling that in our application because, again, we didn't handle any user authentication, but that's just something to note. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I appreciate y'all for watching. If you if you really liked this video and liked how we programmatically went through and implemented all this stuff, definitely check out the course I recently released. It's on UI Kit. We go over everything programmatically. We work with Firebase, Core Data, a whole bunch of things, get you ready for iOS dev interviews, and just master new UI Kit to become a better developer. And I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you on the streets. <laughs> Peace. I'm riding between it all in this bird to play. I'm a piece of the buzz when my fit where you need.